All right, well, I'm here today with my wife, Katie Hartfield, and she's the author of Woman in Love. It's my favorite book of all time. And in it, she talks about how she prayed for her future husband, her HTB, her husband to be before she ever knew him or met him. And we found out later that that was me. She was praying for me. And that in fact, my conversion came on the exact same weekend before we even knew each other, um, hundreds and a thousand, over a thousand miles away, it came the exact same weekend that she started praying most intensely for her husband to be. And so we're happy to have Katie with us and we have a marriage and family ministry. And so I also want to ask Katie, you know, this is important for teenagers and girls in their twenties and thirties and things like that that are not married. What do you tell people who are already married about praying for each other? So a few years ago, I was giving a talk at a mom's group and I did Q&A afterwards and told us a little bit of our story. And one of the moms afterwards asked me, you know, how do you pray for your future or for your husband now? And I was like, Oh my gosh, <laughs> it was great when the Holy Spirit calls you out in front of a whole room of people, you know. Um, but it really started to convict me, like, how am I going to war for my husband now? It's not that he needs my prayers any less today, like we're out of the woods kind of a thing. And uh, last year, we had the chance to go see uh, Hacksaw Ridge, which is this rated R, crazy, gory uh, war movie. And you see so vividly within it, you know, I talked for years about going to war spiritually for my future husband, crawling into the trenches and things like that. And watching this film and seeing what that meant, uh, literally, physically, within a physical war within the world, and thinking about the fact that the spiritual war that is waging over our family, over my husband, is more intense and these stakes are infinitely higher than what I was seeing there. And I was so convicted in that moment, like the devil is after my family. The devil is after my husband. And the question is, what am I gonna do about it? What am I gonna do about it? And how far and how deep am I willing to go to fight spiritually for my family? And that's why I married her. <laughs> we'll be back next week. Thank you so much, Katie, for another week with Katie Hartfield. We're gonna talk specifically um, about how you pray for your husband or for your spouse.